I need to talk to you about the pants. Well, come closer then. No, thanks. I don't want to get contaminated by your buffoonery. What's wrong with my pants? Dude, it looks like a gnome is carrying you on his shoulders. Look who's talking. Have you seen your sandals? You look like you're about to walk on water. Well, you look like you prolapsed your whole digestive system. You look like a Visigoth tourist. You look like you were in the back end of a horse costume. Yeah, well, you look like this. Mm -hmm. Huh? Hey, dude, only one guy can judge me. Leslie! If there was a fashion police, he'd be the town sheriff. Only more fabulous. Are you pointing at that broken accordion on a pile of trash? Sorry, it's hard to tell what's what since his high fashion phase. Yeah, fair enough. Where is he though? Come to think of it, I haven't seen him in weeks. Wait, what is that? Hmm, petals. <gasps> it's a clue. What do you mean? Think about it. What is petals? Flowers. What is made of flour? Bread. Who eats bread? Everyone. Apart from people who can't eat gluten. Who doesn't eat gluten? People on a made up diet. What kind of people are usually on fad diets? Drama queens. Who are usually drama queens? Actors. And what do actors do in real life? They work as waiters in the food industry. And where do they lie about not working in the food industry? In their dressing rooms. Huh, you're right. You said that like it's a surprise. Hey dude, could you help us decide on which one of us looks worse? In the ever-loving what happened to your face? <sighs> My beauty. It's faded. It's not that bad. I mean, if I just squint... Oh, wait, no, that's still pretty bad. But if I just... No, that's, that's not great either. But if I just... See? That's better? Look, don't worry. True beauty is found on the inside. Your personality. Good-looking people don't need a personality. Personalities were invented by ugly people to make up for what they lack on the outside. But you can't spell beautiful without B-U. And you can't spell hideous without hide, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> don't worry. We'll help you get pretty again. Thank you. Hm. Sorry. It's just your face. Let's start with accessories. Hopefully it will distract from the... everything. Is that why you carry Darwin everywhere you go? Mm -mm. You know, when you're pretty and you say something mean, people think you're sassy. But with a face like that, people think you're Sasquatch. Now come on, accessorize. Ugh, it looks like the ugly tree in the Christmas tree had a baby and let him dress himself for school. So yeah, definitely an improvement. <coughs> Look, he's speechless. Wow, he fainted from happiness. And now he's having spasms of satisfaction. Uh, Leslie, is something wrong? Synthesize. Is that when you store all your photos in a cloud or the... I can't breathe! Quick, give me CPR! Uh oh, okay. Oh. Oh, God, I can't be so ugly. <laughs> Who told you to stop? No, 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 no. no. Okay, so you know about the cheerleader effect, right? What's that? It's an optical mind trick. When girls hang out in groups, they look prettier. No, Elmer, no! Come on, let's try it. Hey, Penny! Yeah? How do we look? Ah, you're going for the cheerleader effect, right? Yes. Sorry, but for boys, it's the opposite. We call it the frat guy effect. Makes you look like medieval pillaging creeps. But would you still love me if I look like this? Yeah, you'd still be the shining sun of my life. Aww. Impossible to live without. But it'd really hurt my eyes to look at you directly. What about now? Mm, much better. What about my face? Well, it's like, you know when a movie comes out and you're just like, the sequel can't possibly be worse than it is? Well... It's like the 10th movie. <laughs> ah! How is that possible? You look even uglier than a second ago. You're right. His condition's deteriorating. Maybe you can try and own it? What do you mean? You know, like our grandpa Louie. He never lets his age get in the way of stripping off for his life drawing classes. And he doesn't care when the teacher body shames him by saying, there's no need to get naked when you're the one doing the drawing. He's right. If we got it, flaunt it. Hmm. <laughs> You may have flaunted it too much.